Hi, I'm John Swanson, a Senior Manager in the Solutions Group at Synopsys. One of the product lines I manage is the Designware Ethernet product line. Last year was a very exciting year for Ethernet with the release of the IEEE specifications supporting audio-video bridging in IEEE 802.1 networks. Today, we'd like to show you a demo of how easy it is to configure an Ethernet Mac to support audio-video bridging. Now, let's take a look at the demo. What you see here is the default home page for Core Consult. Notice that this GUI is broken into several sections. The main window, which shows the version of the tool, the different IP cores that are installed, as well as links to some important documentation. To the left of this window is the activity window. This window will be populated with the different steps associated with the IP core once it is selected. Below is a console window, as well as a command entry window. To build an Ethernet core supporting audio-video applications, we simply need to select the associated core. In this case, it's DWC GMAC. Notice that the version of the core is also displayed. If you had multiple versions installed, you would see them here. To start, we simply click on this link. Clicking on this link brings up a dialog. In this dialog, you're given an option to enter the workspace name and where you want the directory structure built. Underneath the directory structure will be all of the files associated with this core. For today, we'll simply keep the defaults by clicking OK, and the tool then sets up the workspace and brings you to the configuration dialog. Now notice that the activity list has been populated with several activities. First, create the RTL, which is where we will go through and do the detailed configurations for our AV Ethernet application. You can then go in and build your gate level netlist targeting either ASIC or FPGA as well as run GTEC simulations and multiple ways to verify the component including formal verification, static timing analysis, and RTL level simulation. In the main window now you'll see we have a tree menu that shows you different configuration options. As you click, they, each box will expand. So what you see at the top level is the system level interface. Notice that the fault is for AHB system integration. We can bring up a pull-down box that will show the different options that are available. For today, we'll build an AHB. Now there's other configurations we can set up, such as the data width for the system data path. All of these values are packaged with the IP to help you quickly get a configuration. There are several general features that you would go through and set up, including your buffer management for RX and TX, the MAC addresses, as well as filtering options. With the DesignWare Ethernet Core, you can select from your choice of many different PHY interfaces. All you need to do is click a box. For example, if we click SMII, we will generate RTL with an SMII PHY interface. Included in the Ethernet Mac are many optional modules, including energy efficient Ethernet, audio video support, 1588 time stamping, multiple power management options, as well as some checksum features, Armon counter options, and station management. To build the design to support audio video, we simply go to the AV Support tab and click Select AV Feature. Now, notice that these two boxes have been enabled. When this box is not checked, they are grayed out because these are invalid configurations unless you're building an audio video application. So we select this box, then we can pick no channels, one channel, or two channels. Let's pick two channels for transmit and two channels for receive. Now another important feature of the DesignWare Ethernet Mac is the way it will automatically include other required hardware. For example, in an audio video Ethernet application you must have a hardware implementation of the IEEE 1588 2008 timestamp support. So here, notice that 1588 timestamping has been selected for you, and we have also enabled 1588 2008 advanced timestamping. You cannot disable these options because you have selected 
audio video support. If we were to unselect this and go back to the 1588, you'd see you could then manually enable these features. So let's go back, select audio video. We now have set up a base configuration for an Ethernet audio video application. To generate the RTL, we will simply click Apply. When we click Apply, you'll notice that many files are going to be written out into the workspace. These will contain all of the configured RTL source code files, as well as documentation on your implementation of the DesignWare Ethernet Mac supporting AV applications. After completing the generation of the configured RTL files, the tool takes you to a report page which gives you a list of different reports which are available for this activity including links to the component source code where you can see all of the source code that was built for this design, component configuration reports, component register reports, a report on the IOs as well as area estimation. There are also several activity specific optional views including the generation of an IP exact component as well as instantiation, register header files, and a RAL file for this design. To generate the reports, you can either click on the link or go to the file menu and select generate reports in which you can delete old reports and automatically generate all of the reports associated with this activity. Once we click, the reports are generated. We can then go click on the link and see the detailed report on our configuration. Notice that the different configuration parameters have names, what the value is set to, a description, giving you all of the information about how this core has been configured. You could also, for example, take a look at the I.O. report. In the I.O. report, you're given a symbolic view of this core with all of the signals as well as a detailed description of each signal in this design. Once we've completed this, we could now go through and generate the gate level netlist, setting up synthesis for ASIC or FPGA, or elect to go run some simulations. This concludes today's demo on how to quickly build a DesignWare Ethernet core supporting AV applications. Thank you. So what you've just seen in the demo is how easy it is with a core consultant wizard to generate the configured design of your Ethernet application for AVB. Both guided configuration, ensuring the proper logic is included in the design, as well as the synthesis and verification capabilities. You can greatly reduce the time it takes for you to get your Ethernet design out the door. Thank you for watching.